Good morning. Just my camera. Sorry, my camera's off. Good morning. Okay, how's that? All right. I'm running out of space here. <clears throat> Good morning. Okay, I'm going to give it a minute. See who hops on. Let everybody get a chance to get in. I'm running late than normal. Um, coming off of a holiday weekend, I'll tell you. Uh, yesterday I was just a disaster and today doesn't seem to be much promising more promising there it's not much better good morning if you're hopping on say good morning happy Wednesday I know it still feels like a Monday here I just can't get it together uh, good morning Cheryl Nancy Beth um, yeah, I don't know what's going on with me. I can't get it together. Yesterday, I was a total disaster. Um, it was like a Monday, but worse because it wasn't a Monday. So I was just, I couldn't get it together yesterday. I did a bunch of shipping. Had a lot of orders coming off of the weekend, which Mondays are usually that way. Um, I don't know if that's, you know, for most of you, you coming off of a holiday weekend or just a weekend. Mondays are always a little bit chaotic. So, um, but yesterday was Tuesday. So that completely threw my day off. Good morning. And I'm going to try to do some cutting here. Okay. I um, thought I was prepared for this morning. I had all my pictures ready. And I forgot to print them all. So that was how that started. I'm like, I was getting ready to come online, come on live here with you guys. And I notice I don't have any of my stuff printed. So that's the cause of me running a little late. So I had to go back. I had to get all my pictures that I had and I had to print them all. And I had to figure out which ones I wanted, which is always the hardest thing to do. Okay, so I'm really tired. I have had, uh, we had a very busy weekend. Um, I hope everybody had an awesome holiday weekend here in the U.S. We came off of Labor Day, which is a big holiday here. It's the unofficial ending of summer. Okay, I hope I didn't cut that too small. No, I don't know why that's huge. Um... So we are ending our summer. Kids are back to school, whether they be cyber schooled, homeschooled. Um, geez, I don't know what I did with this picture, but it's ginormous. Okay, let me reprint this one. I'm gonna talk in the background. So it was a, it's the unofficial coming off the of summer, ending of summer. know what it's the problem is here okay so I'm still not ready as you can see all right well we're just gonna go with this we'll make it work somehow my one of my pictures got larger so this weekend was busy we went camping and um, at, at camp we decided to we had it planned that we were gonna have my grandson's second birthday there so it was busy saturday was spent doing a birthday party how did i make this too small i'll tell you i'll drive myself insane sometimes so we had um a holiday weekend filled with a birthday party for my grandson we had a lot of people there um my all out of my children except for one now all have campers 
So um, there was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of us in camp spots. We went to a campground um, that we like to visit. And we had a birthday party there. There were seven of us, seven campers. There was a total, I think, of 21 of us um, in our little group, in our little uh, family group. So then Saturday we had the birthday party. And then uh, we just had a good weekend. Judy, you have power after 14 days. Oh, yay. Oh, my goodness. Was the power outage from when the hurricane and the, like, the tropical storm had come through, Judy? Jeez, that's a long time. I bet you're like over there super happy. That's crazy. And I get all panicked when I'm, I think it's going to storm here and I'm going to lose power. So I hurt and start plugging all my devices in. And I'm like, I need a full charge. 14 days, that's a long time. I hope you had generators or something that you was able to get, you know, like food maybe. I don't know how you do that, wow. That's a long time. We're spoiled, you know, in this day and age that we're in. I can't imagine, um, you know, being back in the days when they didn't have power and electricity and indoor plumbing, things like that, okay. Well, since we're running a little late, we're gonna jump in, do what we're gonna do. Um, I got some new, I got a bunch of inventory in last week and um, I've been itching to try these. I know everybody sees these. These are the photo panels. They also have the big blankets. They got the tote bags. This is a pillow cover. <clears throat> so I've been itching to try one of these. Their 70th birthday was last Friday. Well, that's awesome. Well, happy belated birthday, Linda. So um, I've been itching to try one of these. They now have them. They offer them in like the blankets. You can get them in totes. Um, this is the pillow cover. This is the 18 by 18 inch pillow cover. Um, this is the nice one. It's got the really soft, um, like a kind of like a velour minky backing. So the, the backing's really nice. Um, I have not done these yet, so this is going to be something we're going to try together. You're welcome, Linda. So, I don't know how they are. I um, honestly haven't even seen anybody press them yet. I'm sure there have been. I've been so busy, I haven't been really even in watching in a lot of the other groups. I probably should have. I just went, I probably should have watched a YouTube video on this. Uh, but I did go to the instructions this morning that came with it. So we're gonna go buy that, okay? Now it does tell me to pre-press the, um, the pillow cover. So we're gonna do this all together. I have not done it, whether this be a success or a fail, I don't know. This is my first one. So it did tell me to pre-press it. I did go around and do a quick pre-press on this. Um, because it says that the fibers need to shrink up a little. Okay, so I did do that. Um, excuse me if I don't got it all together here. I'm just a disaster this morning. Okay. I took down my table, my dining room table. I had a, like an eight foot table here. I don't have anything, so I don't have any space behind me. It is blank space, so I'm trying to cram everything really now into my little corner here. I don't have space for anything. I don't have a table to sit anything on. Um, I took it down. We used it when we went camping because it's just like a pop-up table, and I didn't bring it back in, so I'm really a wreck here this morning. So anyways, I did pre-press this. It said to do it 400 degrees, 60 seconds. Let me readjust my time. Um, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to do it 400 degrees, 60 seconds. But it tells you that you need to pre-press your pillow because the, the woven front needs to um, like come together. I guess it's, it needs to bind together. All right. So I did notice that <clears throat> this one here, um, this is an 18 by 18, so I wanted to see how it looked inside. 
but as you could see, I don't know if you could tell, but the fibers are a little bit further together there. And when you press them, they seem to come together a little bit. Still haven't made one yet either. Well, I just got these in, so we're going to do this together, Jolene, um, because I haven't done any of these either, but I thought they were cute. And I'm actually going to do this for um, my daughter-in-law, okay? Um, so my new daughter-in-law, I'm going to do this as a wedding gift. Um, I already gave her one, but I thought she would like to have some of her pictures. Her wedding pictures just came back. So we're going to put some wedding photos on this, all right? <clears throat> 400 degrees, 60 seconds. I am using my favorite pressing pillow. This is the Cricut brand. Uh, for those of you that are new, uh, I'm doing this. I'm using a 15 by 15 press. I do use a pressing pillow a lot. Okay, so you'll see me using this. I use pressing pillows a lot. Probably 90% of my time with almost everything I press, I press on a pressing pillow. Um, it just helps to give more even pressure, and I do like the Cricut brand ones. I think they're more dense. They hold up longer than some of the other ones that I have tried. Not that the other ones aren't good, but sometimes we use a lot of pressure with sublimation, and these tend to hold up. My other ones tended to go, the homemade ones, um, they tended to flatten really quickly. Um, now, if you could get one, you know, that's good, that's fine. These are just my favorite brands, so I use these a lot. Okay, um, so the next thing I needed to do was I needed to print all my pictures. Um, you know that I like to turn in things into black and white. That stops me from fussing with colors. Uh, so that's what I did. I took a bunch of pictures and I turned them into black and white. Some of these, these were her wedding photos from her photographer. Some of these were already black and white. Some were not. So the ones that wasn't, I just turned into black and white photos. And this is a nine panel, so I needed nine photos, okay? So what I'm gonna do is, I need to figure out my layout of these. I have a really bad headache today, so excuse me if I don't seem like I'm like on guard, or, you know, like all happy-go-lucky here. I got a little bit of a headache this morning. Where do we buy the covers? I am actually gonna do a buy-in for these. These covers, I am gonna do for a buy-in. They're gonna be $8 each. Um, I'm gonna list that buy-in afterwards, and we should have them uh, within like two, three weeks. Um, I really like these ones because they got this plush backing to them. So I will post the buy-in for these. All right, so I did already pre-press these. And now I need to do a layout of what, how I want these to, done because I really need to pre-plan this. So this is something that, you know, you're going to have to plan a little bit like where do you want, what do you want. If you have any sayings, I have one saying and I'm actually going to put this right in the middle of, this was the saying that we had used for her wedding. So I'm going to put this right in the center of the blanket. But I'm not going to tack everything down because I'm going to kind of, I think the best way to do this is to tackle it in like maybe sections. So that's what I'm going to do. All right, let me see here. So let me get the best plan of attack here. All right. I really wasn't feeling really well yesterday. So not only was it my second Monday, I just wasn't feeling real good yesterday. So yesterday I really lagged a lot. All right, let me get this out of the way. This is horrible because I'm working in like 12 by 12 spot it seems like. Okay, so let's do this. All right, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a square first, all right? And remember when you print your images, they need to be backwards. They need to be mirrored, okay? And then 
just going to tape these down. And these images, when I did them, they were four and a half by four and a half. I'm just going to center them. I'm going to tape them down. Okay. Let me see if I can look at some questions here. This is not working out right, so let me do this. Maybe I'm going to do a row at a time. All right, so let me get this. I have the pillows, but I haven't done them yet. Thanks for doing the video. Yeah, so we're going to do these together. Let's see how this turns out. All right, so I'm going to do a row at a time. That's the way I'm going to conquer this. And I am just going to tape these down. I'm not sure if you could do this with the Cricut Easy Press, but I would assume you can because I've not had any problems with um, doing anything with the Cricut Easy Press that has been fabric. So if that's all that you have right now and you don't have a, um, an actual big heat press and you just have the Cricut Easy Press, you can go ahead and probably, I'm assuming that you could probably do these with the easy press. Okay. Make sure I go with the right rows here. The only thing I find that's a little bit strange about these is the, um, the, the pillow squares kind of are a little bit wonky in places, but I'm sure once we do this, it'll be all right. And when you do them, make sure that you make your photo a little bit bigger than the square that you need, just because you are going to need to, all right, so we can't do that one. This is a learning process for me, too. So, if this doesn't turn out, yes, pre-pressed for 60 seconds. Yes, pre-pressed. So, if this doesn't turn out, hey, we have another one. All right. So, I'm going to do two squares at a time, I think. Uh, we're going to see. We're going to see if this works out right or if it doesn't. All right. I have the pillows, but I haven't tried them yet. So, yeah. Okay, I did pre-press for, I pre-pressed for about 35 seconds um, when I did them. So, that's all that I have. But I need to keep my squares over here lined up or I'm going to be a mess. I was excited to do these, so we'll see how it turns out. Got about 20 seconds left. So how was everybody's weekend? Did anybody do anything exciting? Judy was really excited because she has finally got some electric after 14 days. <sighs> Can't even imagine that. That was probably the, definitely the highlight of her weekend. Okay, well, let's see. Oh, well, it smokes. Definitely got to watch for placement, as I can see, but didn't turn out too bad. This one here could have come down a little bit, but I do remember on that, oh no, okay, I see. I could have brought this one down a little on here, because this was the bride's dad. But not bad, not bad, we still got them in there. It's doable, it's workable. We did a lighted boat parade. Oh, that's neat. Okay, moving on. So far, so good.
So I guess the biggest thing is, is watching your placement across the top. Because these do shrink up. I noticed when I was pressing this, I could kind of see my um, fiber shrinking a little, like pulling in. went up to New York on our bikes um, on the motorcycles like two weekends ago and I was amazed at the amount of wineries that was in this one little area there and I kept saying I would just love to stop because I've never seen a winery so um, I bet that was fun did I put anything in the pillow or does it stick together no, it did not say that I needed anything in there, and it doesn't seem like it's sticking. Um, if you want, you might maybe put Teflon or something in there, but it doesn't seem like that it's sticking together. Where did I purchase these? I'm going to do a buy-in for them. So um, as soon as I'm done here, I'm going to post the buy-in. I'm liking the black and white. I'm liking the black and white. Okay, so let me see if we can do a whole row here. Well, I guess we couldn't. That was the issue. All right, so now that it's getting a little funky, let me pre-press this again. I'm going to try not to go over the pictures again because I know as you pre press over them. So let me press this down a little here just to get a nice flat surface because it kind of got weird. The backing on these seems to make it a little funny, I think. So pressing that one one by one is okay. I'm doing like two at a time. I'm trying not to go over um, this a lot. You know, I'm kind of having off the edge of the pillow. So when I'm doing them, I'm only getting two at a time on the pillow. So we'll see how that works. Like I said, I'm just, I'm winging it here, guys. I have not done this either. This is my first one. biggest thing is the aligning of the um, the pictures because I will tell you when I first did them and I cut them down they were like they fit perfect on to the pillow but then I noticed once I pre-pressed it that it shrunk up so the squares got smaller so now my squares are a little bit smaller and I'm needing to adjust. So um, maybe account for the squares to shrink up a little bit when you print your pictures out because they're seeming to get, they're shrinking up a little here on me. Okay, I think I'm gonna do a four block since I can fit four on here. Let me cut this one down a little. Okay. So 
I think that's the biggest struggle right now is that they, the pictures were a little bit bigger once they shrunk up a little. Once the square shrunk. But we're going to work with it. I didn't put anything inside. do four of these at a time. The thing is, is you could see a little bit through, so that helps a little. But we'll see. Okay, so I did four of them at a time here. Let's see how this is. Okay. Um, let me see. What size did I do the squares? I did them at four. When I measured this, I measured the squares before I pre-pressed it. So um, they were four by five, but after I did them, they definitely shrunk so I probably would pre-press next time, then measure your squares. And then you'd get a better idea on them because they definitely shrunk down quite a bit. Like these fit in here, if you could see, I only had a little bit of an overhang. Let me show you that. See, when I measured it, I measured so that it was a little bit over and around because they were square. But let me tell you this right here, this, this photo now, on the the one that I pre-pressed and shrunk down, it's fairly big. Um, so lining it up is a little bit more difficult. They're turning out nice. Um, definitely turning out to be a nice pillow. So I would definitely offer these in my shop. I think the biggest thing that I struggle with is a little bit of this backing when you're doing it. It's not that it's a big struggle. Um, but of course, you don't want wrinkles when you go to press because those wrinkles will show through. So let me see. I'll press this down a little. But see how, I don't know if you can tell this. So these are my last two squares. And you see how they kind of get a little weird and wonky? I just kind of, I'm just kind of pulling them out a little. Um, light pressure, yeah, this is light pressure. So let me get these on here, and then I'm going to turn this so that it's not... You're not seeing much of the difference um, by... When, um, like a, when I'm overlapping a press. So I'm not seeing like I'm taking any color away. And a lot of that I think has to do with because I am doing black and white pictures... But um, you know that I really hate to do any, I hate to do adjusting. These are really large. So I'm definitely going to say that these have shrunk. Let me show you how much they shrunk. Okay, now you've seen I only had a little overlap on there. And look how much these have shrunk now. Okay, can you see that? So there was just a little overlap before. But these have shrunk considerably after I pre-pressed them. All right. What mat am I using underneath? That's my Cricut mat. So I'm going to cut these down. 
So I would definitely pre-press this pillow and then measure for your photos. All right, because um, it has shrunk considerably. More than what I would think that it was, would have shrunk. But it's quite a bit, quite a bit. I'm surprised at how much it shrunk. Okay. But I love them though, they're turning out really nice. Definitely a great wedding gift. Yeah, they have shrunk quite a bit. I might be cutting off maybe an, even an inch from what I have measured. But you definitely need some overhang on it, so don't cut your picture away too much. And I am doing just like a light pressure on these. I don't think it needs a lot. What am I, what mat am I using underneath? Okay, I answered that, that's a Cricut. Do I think placing um, a small mat inside? It probably would. Um, I just laid it on top of that. It's just, it probably would. You would be able to fix the top a little bit better. Um, I'm kind of winging it here with this one. <laughs> so yeah, you could definitely put the pressing pillow inside. And then all you're going to have to do is then you're probably just going to have to move the mat around because this is only a 12 by 12 and the pillow is 18 by 18. So you're just going to have to move it around as you press. Okay. Light pressure, 400 degrees, 60 seconds. Um, oh, Cindy, you got to see your grandkids. That's awesome. So, um, Trying to go back, sorry. Trying to go back, I'm, I know I missed some comments. This is one of those things, times, when you definitely have to make sure that you um, cut, use a, um, a paper cutter to make sure that you got good photos, okay? Let's see how that, oh, turned out good. And then I did notice, I'm going to show you real quick, that around the edges, I don't know if you can see that, there's a little bit of white that gets here. And I'm noticing if I do that, it's just paper. Okay. So, of course, you know, you can't white, there's no white in sublimation. So, it's not going to be like there's white on there because it can't print. So, just don't worry about that. And then I'm just shaking my pillow out. And look at that. Classic black and white photos. Um, you know, I have the saying in the middle. I would suggest because of the, um, the fibers, like the material that this is, that I probably would do a little bit of a thicker font for my next pillow. Um, although this one's still readable, I just think that a, a thicker font, font would, would be better. Okay. So let me stuff the pillow in it. I just grabbed a, I didn't have an 18 inch pillow form. So I grabbed a pillow off of my, <laughs> off of my couch and stuffed it in and it worked because it was 18 inches. So let's see this. These would be beautiful Christmas gifts. These would make beautiful um, holiday gifts for that hard to buy person. And you know, sometimes I find that people like grandmas, um, they're a little bit harder to buy for because they're, you know, 
they're really at the age where they really don't need nothing at this point or they, you know, they really don't, there's nothing that they even really like want. So these make great gifts for that hard to give person, um, make awesome wedding gifts. So make sure you grab these for the holidays because you are going to want them. I'm going to offer these. Where did I get the pillows from? I am going to do a buy-in for these. So much easier than the blankets. Yeah, I have a blanket downstairs and I have not. Um, it came with these. The only thing that they were out of at the time when I tried I, I was a tote. Look at that. Look how beautiful. I mean, who wouldn't love that as a wedding gift? Even if, um, you know, this could be a new mom's gift. Have a saying in here. Um, some pictures of the baby. Where did I get the pillows from? Not the case. The forms you can get like at Walmart, Joanne, Hobby Lobby. Um, I think Michaels has them. So just go online. You could do that. But, I mean, look how stunning. And black and white photos, I know I told you this when we did the slates, they are probably the easiest to work with. Other than um, I do take my black and white photos and then I just do a, um, I lighten them a little bit and that seems to work and it's always classic. And then you don't have to fuss with the coloring. Because let me tell you, when you do photos, what they look like sometimes on your screen, an actual photograph, to the time that you press it, it can be tricky. You can get those reds that come out and them oranges, especially orange. Orange is like a tough color when it comes to like skin coloring and um, any background colors. You tend to get that like orangish color. And it's, it tends to be a lot to really have to work and manipulate some uh, photos with. So if you can talk your customers into doing black and white, it's, it's so easier. It's much, much easier for you, okay? The inner pillow, you can get at Hobby Lobby, Walmart.com. Um, these are eight, gonna be 18 inches, the pillow covers. And then here's the back. It's not that scratchy, um, kind of like canvas here. Although this isn't this like this isn't scratchy. Like I've had some canvas pillows, or it's this is polyester, um, where it's just horrible, and um, like you're like I don't even want that. This is something I would absolutely put on a on a bed. I would put these on a chair, on a couch. The back is super soft. It's like at micro velour. Or only offer black and white, yeah. Um, let me tell you, it's the easiest. If you have problems getting your photos to sublimate with correct coloring and you're just miserable with it, because um, they can be. I had a photo slate not long ago and the background had some orangish in it. It was the grass. Um, I, I went through like four photo slates. It was miserable. And finally, I just said to them, hey, have you ever considered black and white image? So then I did, I sent her an, um, a mock-up of it. She loved it, and we did it. Um, it was a, her mom's dog had passed away, and we did it in black and white. It was beautiful. Will I be getting the 20 panel? Yes, I will be. Matter of fact, I have some in. I just need to load them into my shop. So I'm going to try to get to those today. We are going to do a buy-in for these. Okay, um, so I am going to post this as soon as I get off of here. Do, I, do you know where I can buy the slates? I have the slates in my shop. I usually try to carry whatever I offer to you guys. I don't always have everything like the tumblers. I haven't, um, I'm working on getting those to keep in my shop to offer. Um, these are gonna be $8 each, $8, okay? Oh, I thought you meant for the buy-in. What is a fair selling price on these? I am seeing these around $25 customized like this on Etsy when I did them. Um, so I'm probably gonna keep my price point around $24.99, $25. 
um, for the done, you know, pillow cover. Without the insert, I never sell. I don't, uh, I offer the insert as extra, but I don't sell it as, you know, shipping. I just ship the pillow covers. I sell just the pillow cover. I am not doing the buy-ins for the blankets now, um, just, the, just the pillow covers. I like to try to keep one buy-in at a time. It just makes it easier for me when I'm doing them. So, but there you go, look at that. I mean, who wouldn't love that? So this is going to my daughter-in-law. And I wanna show you, look how nice, even though it's got like that, you know, the, that, look how nice they turn out. Photos turn out beautiful. So everything beautiful. There's my two grandbabies. And there was her and her dad. But I mean, and that's my son. So look how, I mean, you know, even though it's like this textured, the photos turn out beautiful in this. And then I would just suggest if you're going to do any kind of writing in here, um, make it a little bit more bold. Even though this is, you could still read it. Oh, where are we at here? Sorry. You can still read it. It's just I probably would have done a little bit bolder of a print. How long will the, before the pillows come in? I'm going to say about two weeks. Two, three weeks. I think I had a three-week turnaround on these. So they'll definitely be here within a month. Um, I always say give, give and take a little because I know the mail has been getting crazy. I've seen a lot of people, um, a lot of, I have a lot of business friends, and they've been having a little bit of, Sorry, they've been having a little bit of issues with, um, I know we have the holiday and things like that, but the issues with the pillows being, um, well, not the pillows, I'm sorry, the mail being slow. So I'm going to say these will absolutely be in within a month, but, um, you know, I usually say about two to three weeks. So it just depends on how many I order. I usually try to keep it around 300, 400 but um, they tend to get here a little quicker. Um, replying to Michael, no way higher. Okay, I don't know what he said. So like 30 for a full pillow and cover. Um, I'm going to say I, these would probably be about 30, about, I'm sorry, about $25 just the cover only with uh, the photos on it. That's probably, that's the price point I'm seeing finished on Etsy. All right. Yeah, the mail's going to take longer. So we're going to shoot for about, I'm going to say these will be in less than a month, but these will be here for your holiday gift giving time, okay? So whether you wanna go ahead and offer these as gifts or you I'm give them as gifts as yourself, if you wanna offer them in your shop or for sale uh, for your customers, these should be here in plenty of time. But like I'm saying now though, you need to start thinking holiday time right now. So, you know, to, so that your black sales, your Black Friday sales, they're ready. So if you're interested in doing these, you're going to need to get them now. As soon as I get off of here, I'm going to go ahead and post the buy-in for these, okay? All right, so there you go. 18 by 18. The insert you can find at Hobby Lobby, Michaels, Joann's, Walmart uh, for the inserts. If you're going to include an insert or you need them for yourself. And then the backs are like a very soft. This is a very soft pillow. It's like a micro velour. And then the front is this like canvas type material. Okay. Okay. So if anybody has any questions, you can always message me. You could get me in my, um, my shop. You can just drop a message here. Usually I'll, I'll see it. Um, sometimes I don't get to, so if I don't get to you and I don't, sometimes the messages get hidden and it goes to my other messenger. I don't know why Facebook does that, but it does, has two messengers. And then sometimes I'll realize I'll be like, oh, cause I can't really see it on my phone, but I'll notice it when I get to my computer. So it's not that I'm ignoring you. 
I get a lot of messages in a day and I try to get everybody, but sometimes I'm also just working, okay? And then I'll have like a long span, I'll be like, in, and I'm in gear and I just don't check my phone or my laptop or anything like that for maybe like two, three hours. I'm just in like that work mode and I'm, I'm doing things. So it's not that I'm ignoring you, um, but if you haven't, if I haven't got back to you in 24 hours, message me again because sometimes my grandkids get the phone and they swipe off it and I don't know. So it's not that I ignore you because I try to like to get all of you guys. All right. All right, guys, I'm going to post the buy-in and I will talk to you later. Be blessed.